Who's in control of the golf cart? Nobody is in the driver's seat. This guy is about to find himself there, though. Here he is without his hat. The cart is a force. Is it within his control? If it is, then he is considered to be actively directing it. If the cart goes on and runs into some more people, that would be the result of his voluntary action. Suppose that he doesn't care to steer or hit the brakes. He just wants off. The guy in the darker shirt is the one who finally stops the cart. Suppose that the cart had run over one more person just after the guy in the light blue bailed out. Could light blue guy be held criminally liable? Light blue guy's failure to steer looks more like an omission than Corvette ladies. Nonetheless, in tort law, light blue guy should be treated as actively directing the cart and creating a risk of harm by not staying on to steer it. The model penal code provision on omissions would pick that up. Light blue guy, in that hypothetical scenario, might have to face criminal charges. Consider now the following hypothetical. The defendant is chloroformed by his wife and her boyfriend. They put the defendant behind the wheel of his car, start it, and release the brake. The defendant revives in time to stop safely, but instead merely watches as the car rolls over a row of pedestrians. Must the prosecution prove a legal duty to act? The answer is no. The car is a force within the defendant's control. His failure to control it is treated as his actively directing it, rather than as an omission to take control. In other words, the prosecution doesn't have to show that the defendant had a legal duty to take control. The law treats him as already in control. It matters not that he did nothing to put himself in that position. This does not change the result in our earlier pond hypothetical. C's conduct created the risk. Therefore, C had a duty of reasonable care to prevent A's drowning. B and D did not create the risk. Are they in control of a force? No. What force would that be? Gravity? The force is that strong in this one? No. Now let's look into the future. This woman owns a self-driving car. A human passenger can always override the car's automatic feature. The car is a force within her control just as much as Corvette Lady's Corvette. This woman had better watch what she's doing, don't you think? In the real world, the culture of the automobile has prompted legislatures to enact special statutes to address harms vehicles cause. Expect legislative activity in the field of self-driving cars. Our focus in this course will be more backward-looking. Even so, we can anticipate problems on the road ahead.